Good evening, Android Studio coders. This is Lansky in my Android Studio channel. Tonight, our topic is about how to change package name in Android Studio. I have decided to release a video on this topic because I have found out in forums and at stackoverflow.com that there are a lot of queries about how to change package name in Android Studio. Actually, this is a very important topic because sometimes uh, you have a project that you have named in a particular package name only to realize later that you need, you need to make a change of package name. One of the reasons for changing package name is that uh, sometimes package name are picked up for search engine optimization or app optimization so that your app is more visible to certain particular keywords that being searched online. So thus changes in package name are sometimes unavoidable. Or if you have a client, I've experienced before uh, that I have a client who wishes to change package name because he wants to change the domain name of to which his app would be published or blog about in addition to being published on the Play Store. So let's start about on showing you how to change package name in Android Studio. So here I have a uh, very basic uh, Android Studio app here. Actually, I have not written anything here, just that I created something out of an empty template of Android Studio and called my package name com uh, android studio com dot android studio dot old package name actually i named the app as old package name and my <coughs> uh, domain which is android studio 101.com is added to the name of the app so here uh, uh, first thing you have your app folder and the gradle that scripts under the project tab here and the important thing is to click this here this this one and this one sorry and ensure that you are at the you check the project files so check that and go to go here and click this pull down menu here and make sure to uncheck compact empty middle packages so everything in here should be unchecked except this one folders always on top so uncheck this compact empty middle packages so if you do that under source under uh, under app you have the app folder and you have the build and then show the contents of the source folder here and you have main under that is java and under that is com and under that is your package name here so if you go back to checking the compact empty middle packages you won't be seeing the package name as a separate folder so uncheck that again and you will see the package name as a folder here so you can change this package name here by clicking on it and so take care of the steps here so first make sure that you are and uh, you have checked project files and then uncheck compact empty middle packages so if it's checked you uncheck it and under source you will see under ja under main and then under java under com you will see your package name folder here so we have here so click that you have your old underscore package underscore name so right click that and go to refractor and go to rename so you have three choices here so never mind all these warnings here. So we have rename directory, we have cancel and rename package. You have to click rename package. And 
change the package name here. So let's just put here new underscore package underscore name and click refractor. After clicking refractor, you have some refractoring preview here and the choice is for you to cancel or do refractor. So just click do refractor. So every step that should be done had been done by Android Studio itself through the choices that you make. But one more thing you have to do, if you go to your build.gradle, you can see that the application ID is still on the old package name. So change that to new package name. So and then click sync now. After Gradle configured everything, uh, so that you can see that you're almost done there. We, we just have to check. So Gradle build has finished. We just have to check whether the manifest file reflects the new package name. So go to main and then you have there under the rest, uh, rest folder, you have Android manifest.xml. Open your Android manifest. Make sure that here you have the new package name here. So uh, having, having seen that, we can be sure that everything is changed into the new package name. So you can check the, uh, the other build.gradle file. So there is nothing to change here. So under the app build.gradle, you are in the new package name already. So this is already done if you have a basic app that does not connect to Firebase. You have to take care, you have to remember, before I was changing package name and in a in an app that is connected to Firebase. So I have done all the steps that I that I have shown you, but I generated some errors in my build. So uh, it really bugged me because I believe that I, have, I already have done everything. But however, I have, I have not realized that I'm connected to Firebase. And when you're connected to Firebase, you have set up everything that's needed. Uh, one step in connecting to Firebase is to download the google-services.json. That's uh, on, on, uh, for those that are not familiar with configuring up uh, your app for Firebase, uh, uh, just a uh, primer is that you have to go to Firebase and under a certain project, you have to add your app and one of the requirements is your the app package name. And by doing that, uh, you create, uh, you download, you're able to download Google Dash services that JSON that you add under your app folder here and that is configured to the package name of the app. But if you change the package name, you have to delete that Google that Google the services.json file and go again to Firebase and add an app under the new package name and you will be able to download a Google the services.json that indicates the new package name. So to show that, so we're done here. Uh, if you go to mainactivity.java, you can see that it's already in the new package name. So uh, I'll just so uh, I'll just would have to show you the Google Dash Services.json on an app that's connected to Firebase. So let's look for an app that's connected to Firebase. I have one here. So this app is connected to Firebase through this Google Dash Services.json. So let's click this file and you can see that the package name of the app sample here is inside this .json file. So if you change the package name, this does not change as well because this is configured on your Firebase console. So you have to log into your Firebase console and 
generate a new Google the services that JSON file. So that's it. It's fairly easy to do. There are lots of tutorials for it. And go to the description of this video. Uh, I would be directing you to a video and my blog at AndroidStudio101.com indicating how to connect your app to Firebase. And let's go back to the to our uh, to our uh, previous demo. So here we have the new package name. So let's test if this app works. Let's load this app into the emulator. Okay, so the app first, and as you can see here, the label is still the old package name because this is uh, something that is connected to your string resource. So you can change this if you want. Uh, uh, one thing you have to note also is that, as you can see here, it still says old package name. This has nothing to do actually with the package name of your app. This is auto-generated by Android Studio when you build your app. It created a folder under the folder to which you, you keep or you save your app. So this, this folder can be changed. You can change the name of this uh, folder if you want. But it's not really connected to the package name of your app. So let's go back to what I have been saying a while ago. Uh, in order to... to uh, change the label you go to your strings it actually has uh, a reference to a string name called app name you, you can just change this one and call this string uh, sorry new package name and let's click save and let's run it again okay it now says new package name and if you really want to change the folder so that uh, this one shows new package name, this refers to the folder of the app. So let's close this one and go to where I saved the app. Okay, click this one and it's here old package name let's rename this one into but this is not really required i'm just showing you that it's connected with the name of the folder so do that and let's open again android studio and of course it's not there anymore you open an existing android studio project and go to where it is saved so desktop android studio so it's here where is it i think i have to refresh it's not showing yet yeah i have to refresh okay Let's open Android Studio again. And let's go to desktop Android Studio. And then where is that I can see it? Maybe I'll go directly to that. It's here. 
So right click, then right click this one, and it's not showing in. It's not showing in. Aha! Uh -huh. You have to rename this one to new. Okay, I think that solves the problem. Okay. And go back to desktop, Android Studio. So we now have new package name. So the that IML file should be named to the new folder name so that it is visible here. So actually maybe it's a Android Studio thing. And I have not noticed that before, but I have updated my Android Studio recently, so it's now a required thing. So just click OK. It's building the project. So now you have a an updated folder here. So and everything is actually updated already. Uh, even if you go to this one project files, you have new package name here. This is this reflects the folder name actually. So uh, and then the that IML file is already new underscore package underscore name. So that's the reason it's not showing in the folder when it's opened under uh, as a new as a existing app from a certain folder because the name of the folder does not match this .iml file so that's the one we have fixed uh, a few minutes ago so if we run this app it's gonna fire like before and everything has been fixed let's wait for it it's a little bit slow Okay, because we have no open emulator at this point. If you have an existing open emulator, it's it loads faster because it does not load uh, other things that Android requires over again. So here, okay, new package name, hello world. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching my video. You now know how to change your package name to a new package name in a fashion that would not generate an error including for apps that is connected to firebase so good night and thanks for watching my video and if you like this video and would expect to view more tutorials from me uh, i would just like to ask you to please subscribe to this android studio channel